What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened and my Rift Mode playthrough. We are moving right along after the big facepalm last episode and jumping right on in to some campaign lava mines on hard mode, hardcore, and rifted. Let's go get it. Ah, the lava mines. Such a gorgeous map. This one is super, super fun. Uh, obviously, it opens up later and becomes even more and more challenging to play. However, we're on hard mode, so we don't have a core up there to worry about. We've just got the one and our 60 DU. Now, taking a look through my heroes, as I did get some fresh new gear on those survival fails, and we will take a look at the stats. So, on the EV, I've got everything into fort and power. On my Monk, I've got most of my points into range, and then uh, a little bit from Fort and Power, oh, the change in the defense rate just from the gear. On the Apprentice, we're split dead even, just about, between Power, Range, and Defense Rate. Now remember, this is super, super early game. The further you get into the game, the diminishing returns are going to stack up. Uh, late game, all you're really going to want to do is stack Power, and then get fort, rage, and rate incidentally from your gear. However, early on, you do get quite a bit of value out of range, particularly. Uh, let's see what we can do. So, um, we've got 200 DU to get things started. Uh, we've got just a few mobs. I think to start this one off, we are just going to go proton crazy. So let's get, uh, let's get a big 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 proton right here let's go with yet another one just right next to it running down through that lane that's gonna leave me 120 so still some du to spend uh without a doubt let's get another long one right here and then once again yet another right next to it now, I got kind of mixed emotions on what hero to play actively, as I don't have any spectacular weapons on really anyone. Uh, but I am going to play on the Huntress. Uh, I've got this really incredible fusion weapon <laughs> from the very first map we played. Uh, still rocking it. Let's get it going here in this particular map and see what we do. Now, of course, we only have 27 mobs, so pretty easy start. Uh, protons, protons, protons. Oh, how I love you so. There's no doubt. Now, what's better than protons? Well, what would be better than protons is having a slow on top of this to really bring these enemies to a halt. That would make it so much better. So, one of the first additions we are going to make on this bad boy is going to be some ensnare auras. We are getting it. Now, Protons are just extremely beast mode early game. They're extremely beast mode late game once you get them all decked out, but you do need to put some work into them. Early game, however, where I'm at right now, with little to no uh, points to allocate and little to no gear, they are just incredible. So I uh, can't speak highly enough about the Protons and that lovely, lovely Robo Girl, the EVA. Uh, let's see if we can't just burn right through this old pack of bads right here. And, um, uh, we're looking pretty darn good. We spent, what, we've only spent, what, a third of the available DU, so that is a plus. We're gonna be able to get lots of walls, get some R's in. We'll be able to jack this build right on up. Let's see what we've got as far as mana. I think I've collected it all. There's a couple of stragglers here and there, but we don't have a whole lot of mana to work with here. That is for darn sure. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get a wall in place. Where do we want it? Well, I mean, I think it would be a nice little choke if we put it right here. But I kind of want a 3D wall instead of a 2. I don't want it to just get instantly evaporated. So why don't we go up top onto those rails where we can fit 3D in right there. Let's do the exact same thing. We get some shinies? Oh yeah, we're getting shinies. Very, very, very nice. Let's see if we can't do the same thing over here. So over here, we're gonna go like from the fence post to this rail. Uh, that's gonna give us 3DU. And then as I mentioned, I really wanna slow these bads down. 
So let's go ahead and drop an Ensnare Aura right covering the entire length of that Proton Beam. And uh, this is really going to keep these enemies parked on top of the Proton for a long time. And that is just good stuff, let me tell you. Now, let's see, do we want to go with... What else do we want to do? Hmm. I can't do a buff beam yet, can I? No, level 20. So I'm close. So close, yet so far away. So why don't we go back to our auras? Let's get a... Let's just do a kind of a standard issue aura stack. So we're going to go with a Strength Drain Aura, an Electric Aura, and then that Ensnare. Now these Auras are going to burn. There is just no doubt they're going to get chewed apart. So we're going to want to watch their health, that's for sure. What does that leave me? That leaves me 8 DU. Well, with 8 DU, I kind of feel like oh, it's only natural to get a trap in here, right? What do we want, though? Do we want a Gas Trap? Hmm, well, we've got 8 DU. We could go with an Inferno. Let's actually do that. Let's put it up at the front uh, where the enemies first come into the Proton Beam. We'll drop an Inferno right there. No more DU or no more mana left to spend. So we're going to have to tough it out here for one more wave until we get into that next one. Um, upgrade priority, I really think, is going to be Walls and Protons. Now, I'm going to try not to spend all of my mana on repairing the Auras, so we will do some Aura upgrades as well, uh, just to kind of conserve the mana and get a little bit more power out of them. But oh, we are getting it here. There is no doubt. Now, one of the benefits about the Protons is if you stretch them out super long like this, not only are they beast mode, but they are getting out to that range where the Rift or rifted archer enemies that have their increased range we are hitting those guys and that is one of my main concerns uh, as far as rift mode goes right now early game like this using towers I just can't reach the ranged enemies they're just their range is too great uh, that's part of their deal for being in rift mode is they do get the increased range and it is really really rough using towers however we're able to get the full length out there with these super long proton beams. Those, of course, are unaffected by rage. So, yeah, we don't have to really sweat it. Let's see, we're actually doing pretty good. Let's get that other... We'll get this other Inferno down right over here. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah, we got greens! The greens are flowing, y'all! Fat loots are upon us, there is no doubt. Let's see, I should probably go with it, same thing, right out here at the entrance. Uh, I Basically, I want the mobs getting that Inferno action on them right away. Now let's see, we got 500 DU left, so let's hit one Proton Beam and each wall. I guess I got 300 left over here, I can hit the wall and then both Proton Beams on this particular lane. Uh, it leaves me a little bit of change left, and I am going to want to throw it onto those Infernos. Now, Infernos are not necessarily in a great way this early. Uh, explosive traps are certainly really strong. However, my stats are just weak, weak, weak on my Huntress. I'm still using that gear from Deeper Well, and that means the explosive traps are just going to burn. They won't stay alive long enough. Now, we do have uh, some Flyers coming in. We're going to want to keep an eye on them. They're going after that wall, of course, so they're going to get hit by the Electric Aura. So we will want to keep an eye on them, though. We don't want to get too uppity. They did a little bit of damage. Not too terrible there. But definitely, definitely watch the Flyers. Let's uh, get ourselves healed up while we wait for this next grouping to come out. Actually, we have enough mana now to go ahead and upgrade this other beam. We might as well hit it while we're at it just to keep everything nice and upgraded evenly. I'm really, really looking forward to getting a better weapon. Ah! Now, theoretically, I should be able to get a green one, maybe even a blue one from this map. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful I'm going to get something decent. Uh, once again, we got the flyer action, so let's just assist that electric aura. The electric aura is not ticking for a whole lot. 
That is for certain as well. Let's see, this time around, let's hit the Strength Dream, the Electric Aura, and the Inferno. And what are we going to do over here? Well, let's grab this loot for sure. Let's actually do the exact same thing. We'll hit the Strength Dream, the Electric... Oop, dang it, I done went and derped. Uh, the Electric Aura and the Inferno. That leaves me 226 left. I think I'm going to hold it. Uh, just in case uh, one of these walls does start getting a little bit of damage into it, I want to be able to upgrade it. The bads are rolling out. So just getting an uh, upgraded weapon on this map is going to be huge. Uh, next up, of course, we got the Demon Lord, and that could be bad, bad stuff. So I'm really, really hoping to get a nice fatty, fatty upgraded weapon here from this map. We're going to have to see how that goes, of course. I'm very curious as far as what I'm going to do about the Demon Lord 2. Uh, it's going to be quite challenging on Rift Mode. There's just no doubt at all. It could be ugly. But for now, let's just worry about this map. And we'll worry about the Demon Lord next time around. I'm assuming I'm going to be over level 20, so that's going to bring buff beams in, which will definitely help things out. But for the time being, we got enemies right in front of us to contend with. Get wrecked, baddie. Get wrecked. I gotta say, even though doing that survival uh, attempt ended up being a complete failure, getting just some slightly better quality gear to get an extra stat point here and there, and then getting the XP and getting those rune points has definitely been a bit of a godsend. Uh, I feel a lot stronger uh, as, as far as my towers go. As far as a hero, I feel very, very flimsy. And don't feel like I could really punch my way out of a wet paper bag at this point. But, our defenses are feeling much, much better. There is no doubt about that. Almost there, 30 enemies left. And it looks like we've got uh, just the usual assortment. So next wave, we're going to get all Ogrelicious here. We will indeed have the Ogre action. I'm so tempted to try to put together a Rift set during the playthrough, but to be honest with you, until you get through the campaign, it just doesn't feel like it would be worth the grind, because it would be quite a grind, no doubt, to actually get a full Rift set. And I think really the only realistic way to do it may even be to drop down to medium and do uh, wave 15 survivals. Let's see, let's get these upgrades or repairs off first. And then what do we want to do? I kind of feel like I want to jack all my mana into the walls and protons. I've only got 1600 though. Let's see, we can get an upgrade on each proton and each wall and still have enough left over for an emergency upgrade if need be. So let's plan on that. Uh, I'll save the 400. That's going to be an emergency wall upgrade. And uh, let's get it going. Wave 5 is incoming. Uh, let's get working on those flyers right up front this time instead of waiting for them to come in. I don't do any damage. Uh, really, at all. <laughs> so... I mean, I don't think it's really an option to kill the flyers out there at this point. And with no gear, of course, e even my abilities just don't do much. Just getting the slightest bit of gear on this Huntress would be a big time game changer, that's for sure. Now we got, what, 112 left, so we've only knocked out the first 30 plus enemies. We got a little ways to go here yet. But I believe that may be it for the flyers. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to keep an eye out. I think the flyers... Or no, I spoke too soon. There is more flyer action right there. Of 
Eh, we're doing okay on those flyers. We're actually doing really good on the mana, too. I'm tempted to just slam a few upgrades in, but I do want to hold it. I know that when the ogre comes, it's going to be devastating, and that wall is going to get just really, really brutalized. So, I want to be prepared for that. I'm not really sure where it's going to come. I'm assuming it's going to come this way, just because I've seen a ton of ogres come this down this lane. But we will see. I don't remember exactly which lane, or it could even be random, uh, at this point in the campaign where they come from. I am just, the mana is just really racking up. You know what I'm going to do? The second I see where the ogre's going, I'm going to go upgrade those proton beams. I'll make sure I save 400 for an emergency wall. But yeah. Looking like the thing to do. Looks like I got some stuck, uh, stuck gobus there. Still waiting it out. We got 40 mobs left. I don't see an ogre yet. Oh, there it comes, there it comes. All right, so let's get these protons upgraded. And then I'm gonna do my best to kite this ogre around a little bit. So I'm hoping I can get him to walk back and forth in these protons just a touch. Let's keep old healed up. Oh yeah, you get him protons! I think it's GG's here, because he's not going to make it back through those protons, there is no doubt. Now, sadly, we're not to a point where we can just burn the ogres. We do have to play games with them, and that's quite unfortunate, but we'll get there. That's uh, one of the tough things about jumping right into hard mode and rifted hard mode on top of it. Now, I believe this is stuck enemies here. Am I going to be able to get to them at all? Yeah, we can hit them. Eh, it looks like they just needed a little encouragement, and they are out. Two little Gobus uh, bringing up the pack here at the end. And we should be able to get these fellas just smoked right out, no problem. Now, I'm excited to see what kind of weapon drops in the box. Please be something good already. Let's go take a peek. We should have us a rifted minigun in the box here. And there it is. It's another gray one, but it is slightly better than the one I have now. It's not huge, but it's got a little bit faster attack rate. It's got a little bit more base damage, and the stats on it kind of speak for itself. The stats on it are way better than what I am currently using. So it looks like this is my weapon. I might throw some, some gold into it to get it upgraded before I get into the Demon Lord, because remember, boss fight coming up next. But that will do it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. Uh, don't forget to click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, hopefully everyone is having a wonderful week. And I will see you soon. Take it easy.